Hello, kitties. Today I'm making a cup of espresso coffee. It's sort of espresso. It's kind of a, not as strong as espresso, but not as weak as coffee. Kind of coffee. Anyway, today... Well, that looks good. Today I want to talk about a call that I went on yesterday. Actually, the lady had four units in her house, and I was out uh, working on two of them. One for the master bedroom, I put a little bit of Freon in, and whatever else it was doing, it wasn't doing while I was there. And then the upstairs unit, which she said her husband had said was freezing up, had an inch of radial ice on the on the lines, and uh, oh, let me switch hands here. So I have my coffee hand free. So I go out there, and I see no ice on the lines. I put my gauges on it, and I have about a 34-degree um, suction line. Uh, let me rephrase that. 34 degrees on the gauge, which is, what, 60-ish, I think, uh, PSIG. And um, put my thermocouple on the suction line, and it's 34, 35, so about the same. I'm like, aha, let's go up in the attic and look at the filter. So I go up in the attic and I look at the filter and the filter is spotlessly clean. I thought, well, let's pull some stuff out here and look at the uh, look at the, the evaporator coil. Well, the coil, this was a gas furnace. The filter was on the left side and the coil was on the right side. And I pulled the box coil off. You can actually see the... Um, the the side of the quill that you need to check for dirt, and it was spotlessly clean. I thought, I wonder if it's frozen up. Lay my hand up under there, and it's not frozen at the moment because you know sometimes if if you think it's def they tell you they've had it off and it hasn't been really been off that long, you have ice built up on it, you'll get a low suction pressure and and low low superheat. So anyway, I'm like, well, what in the world is going on? That just doesn't make any sense. So. Um, the, the short version of it is it after going back outside and inside a number of times, the outdoor unit is a uh, three and a half ton, and the indoor unit is only a three ton. Now, there might be some other stuff too, but definitely a mismatched system and a smaller coil inside. And it looked like, I don't know, it looked like the coil had been replaced, the box coil had been replaced, and not a very well-fitting job of it. So. I don't know if it was accidental or somebody was trying to save a few bucks and uh, stuck that on there. But anyway, that's the uh, the troubleshooting call for the day. I have a few others, but not off the top of my head.